Hello everybody. Just wanted to say thanks for watching our videos. I really appreciate it. If you have not hit the like and subscribe button, please do. And please share with your friends and family if you know anybody who's interested in homesteading. With that being said, I wanted to tell you that this next set of videos, probably at least two if not three, are going to be about setting up a solar array for our RV. Um, the reason I'm telling you this before watching the video is I want to put a disclaimer out there and the disclaimer is very simple. Do not follow my advice for setting up a solar array. I'm only going to be going through what I did to get from point A to point B and just show you what I'm doing. I'm not qualified to be teaching anything and I'm not really going to be teaching. I'm just going to be showing you what I'm doing. There's a lot of really good videos out there and really good people to watch. Uh, Will Prose is one of them. I watched a lot of his videos and there's a few others. Um, if I can remember, I'll put them in the links here in the description uh, so you can follow along with them. But they're much, much better at this. So I, that's where I picked up the information from. Really, it's just about taking the initiative and learning. And it is definitely a learning curve. It's not something you just want to jump into. Uh, I did spend a lot of time doing research and studying and talking to people. Actually, one of my neighbors was a retired electrician, so I was able to talk to him a little bit about things and probably have him come over and take a look before I even fired up. So, anyways, enjoy the videos, and here we go. All right, so of course, just like I stated in previous videos, sometimes before you get to a project, you have to do another project just to get to that project. So here I am constructing a fence around the solar array so my goats as well as the cows don't trample them. All right, so once the gate was set up and the fence, I was able to finalize the pallet setup for the solar panels. So the solar panels are just going to sit on these pallets. They're facing south and I'll be able to move these out of here pretty easily once the time comes because it's only going to be temporary probably 30 to 45 days before we have a more permanent setup for these. All right for the batteries decided to put 12 batteries in the front compartment of the fifth wheel. Now these batteries are going to be wired in series parallel so it is a 48 volt system uh, that's what the solar array is going to be set up as so here you can see the solar panels laid out um, these are 250 watt panels I have a total of 12 panels which gives me about 3,000 watts and the batteries all together it comes out to about 7200 watt hours so Overall, it's going to be you know, a fairly small system, but it should work a little bit for my needs here. And the next step is going to be just to create some cables for these batteries because I have to customize them to, to fit a perfect you know, length for these. And then I got to test the solar panels. So here you see, um, actually in the RV, it was a rainy day. So this is something perfect to do during a rainy day. These are the cables that I cut to a specific length and this tool is a crimping tool and what you do is you just you buy the lugs make sure you get the right size and then you use this crimping tool to crimp the lugs onto these cables. Now the cable that I got was actually these are this is six gauge and this is welding wire and I got it from Tempco which is a good company and these are going to be used to wire the batteries together in series and then parallel so next I had to test the solar panels alright folks so this is the moment of truth for me got my panels set up in series parallel and if I did this properly they should read between 180 to 200 volts. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my test now. I'm gonna turn the camera off and hopefully I'm still alive when it's over. All right, we're reading 193.4 volts. So we are good to go. So now I'm gonna wire this in through the RV and go on to the next step. All right, so looking inside the RV, I found a good little spot to put the all-in-one inverter controller, which is GrowWatt. It's the one sitting down. 
and then I have a combiner box mounted to the wall there and just so you know this combiner box is complete overkill for what I'm doing here it just is there because I already had it and I bought it for a bigger array and I'm not using it now and I didn't have any MC4 fuses to fuse these panels up so I figured I'll just use this until I'm done and I'll be removing this and adding just a different setup for the RV uh, when the time comes but I think this is a good time to leave off uh, the next video I'm going to show you the pathway of the wiring that I'm doing from the batteries to from the panels and everything else and just show you guys how it's all going to be set up and then hopefully soon we'll be able to fire this thing up so thanks for watching and look out for part two